I'm going to do one of my ultimate favourites, which is mini fish and chips. For that, I'm going to use the mini deep fat fryer, the ultimate veg chopper, the citrus saver, and the ham blender. For the fish and chips to make the batter, I've got some flour, I've got some beer, some mustard, and some white wine vinegar. For the tartar sauce, I'm going to use mayonnaise, some gherkins, fresh parsley, some capers, and some lemon juice. And then I've got some peas, because you can't have fish and chips without the peas, just simmering along in the pan over here. First and foremost, we'll get the batter on the go. Take the flour and pour in the lager. You can use Guinness if you want, you can just use water. So just pour that in. We then add to that our white wine vinegar. Now the tip with the white wine vinegar is it makes the batter very crispy and not soggy. We want a crisp batter. And then some English mustard. And the English mustard just gives it a little bit of yellowness, but again makes the batter crispy. A little bit of sea salt and some black pepper. So all the ingredients go in together and then we're just going to blend them to form a batter. That's your batter and just leave that to one side. Nice yellow, nice and smooth, leave that to there. Take the ultimate vegetable and I've got half an onion that I've just chopped away in the bottom here. It then depends on how much onion you like. You put a quarter in, you put half, whatever. Capers go in. So these are little mini capers, because it's mini fish and chips with the mini fryer. Capers go in. I've got some gherkin, and again, I've just taken a normal gherkin, chopped it up, so it'll go into the ultimate chopper, so it's easy to do. In that goes. Then take a little bit of mayonnaise, just to get it going, and some parsley. A little bit of salt in, and some pepper. Lid on top, and just chop away. So you're bringing all the ingredients together for the tartar sauce. You can use red onion in this if you want. It goes a little bit pink. Lift that up. Now look at that. How easy is that? Fresh tartar sauce, chopped nicely. That's in, chopped, add some more mayonnaise, because I want a creamy texture, and mix. And that is how easy and quick fresh tartar sauce, you can make this up, put it in the uh, ultimate storage containers and leave it in the fridge uh, with the lids on, again superb. We need to that a little squeeze of lemon. And always with lemons, what do you do with the other half? You only need a little squeeze of the juice just to bring the flavours together. What do I do with the rest of it? Cling film it, not the best. Ultimate citrus storage container in, lock, nice and fresh. So we've got our batter made, our tartar sauce made. Take half fish and we're going to cut this into small mini pieces about so big so just small pieces in a pile again cut it off so they're not too big and um, the bigger they are the longer they'll take to cook and it is a mini fryer so then take a tray and again this is the uh, baking tray a little bit of flour on so we're going to coat the fish in it and to this now we add some salt and pepper a little bit of pepper in so we season the flour up some salt so season the flour and then just give that a mix so it's all together take your fish fish goes into the flour and just coat the fish in the flour from the flour we're going to drop this coat and it's only lightly coated, we don't want loads and loads of flour on it, just lightly coat it and then drop the fish into our batter. In that goes. That's all the fish in. And again, keeping the hand clean, mix your fish into your batter. And then take your batter with your fish, 
drain off to the side and into your fryer. Hold it, drop it in, so again, hold and drop. Shake the basket so it doesn't stick to the bottom and you're then digging the fish out. So that's the fish prepared. Take your potato, cut them into small pieces so we end up with small chips. Like we can see here, just small chunky chips. Take our little pot for our tartar sauce and again, tartar sauce into a pot. Can't have fish without tartar sauce. That's into the pot. And what you do with the chips is, and I've just done some earlier just to speed things up for you to see, this is another basket and you drop the chips in and give them um, about 10 minutes to cook. So we, we blanch them twice and cook three times. That way you get lovely light fluffy chips. So the chips have been blanched once in, lifted out and they're like this. So they're a little bit soft and they're pale in colour. We're not colouring them, just pale. Then you blanch them for the second time and you end up with this and they go slightly more golden, natural sugar in the potatoes, so they come a little bit more golden. So you've got second, and then once the fish is cooked and out, we're going to put them back in and we're going to fry the chips. The great thing about the mini fat fryer is it's not just good for fish and chips. We've done spring rolls with it, we've done some dim sums. Uh, even piece of little chicken just coated in some fresh breadcrumbs fried, keep it small and it fries fantastic. It has lovely coating, again it's nice and safe. You can squeeze the handle out and just shut the lid. How good is that? It's nice and it's got a filter in so it's absolutely clean, tidy. Just be careful when you lift the lid up, drop your lid up and then they just spring back in and look at that. You've got perfect fish. We're just going to drain that over here again onto our uh, clean easy kitchen roll and uh, the tray, leave that to one side. I'm going to drop our chips back in now. It's solid, you know, it's, it's a really great product. Chips, look at the chips, they're coming up nicely now, starting to golden up. So that's the second time they've been blanched. And now we're going to cook them, we'll put the rest of them in, in go the rest. It's got loads of chips. Popper fish and chips. And then we'll just go to the peas, and I've just done some mushy peas, soaked the peas the night before in some cold water, cooked them softly, and you can see real juicy peas. The peas great, they're hot, ready. Let's have a look at the chips. Chips are coming up lovely and golden. Take your tray over. You know, you could serve them in the basket like this at the table, so you've got your fish and your chips, I think quite nice. Fish back in just to crisp that back up. A little bit of salt now on our chips. Give it a shake. Into the dish. So our chips go in. A little bit of greaseproof paper there. Our fish out. On that, drain that. And again, a little bit of rock salt, sea salt over the top. Look at that. Fish on top like so and what we did we've got our peas peas into the pot like so and there we are perfect fish chips mushy peas homemade tartar sauce just missing one thing let's not forget our beautiful citrus savour take the lemon out cut the lemon either in wedges or in half Big chunky lemon on top, and then just a little bit of parsley. Look at that, perfect snack, supper, tea, the best mini fish and chips with me old mate, the mini fish fat fryer. So there you have it, Clean Easy really does have a great range of products making life easier. <laughs>